So a few months ago, I decided to do a lo-fi draw type beat tutorial. I did pretty well. Thank you guys so much for the support, by the way, in this year. But uh, yeah, uh, I've been listening to a lot of lo-fi recently. I said, hey, why not make a sequel to that tutorial? It's going to be a little bit different. Um, But definitely when you're making lo-fi draw type beats, when you hear like the majority of beats, you mostly hear like a little sample at place, mostly vinyl cracking raindrops you know like a little background noise so yes let's get right into it so i decided to make melody with the guitar the nylon string ac harmonics but the x band to plug in you guys should definitely get this i think it's for 15 bucks now in plugin boutique it has a lot of sounds you guys should definitely go grab this it's it's amazing So in that melody, you might be thinking, why wow, house is so ambient, how why is this is so nice and all. What I said I had to do is I had to put like a reverb here. I put turn the, the wet knob all the way up. Also, you know, I just put an EQ, blah, blah, the same thing. But it's sounding like that is because originally it sounds super low. Like trust me, it's like an absurd amount of low. And I put a vanilla here. Um, It's a, it's a certain part in the track. And you might be thinking, why well, I have the vanilla delay here? Well, actually, um, if you guys are curious, if I have the delay preset, I use the high volume springy. Um, and yeah, I decided to change the melody here, switch it up, and at the same time put the Van Halo delay. And also, for the purpose of the beat, I decided to do like this little isotope vinyl type of thing. I put the spin down, but for like a certain part when this uh, melody is done, so it like just sounds like it's like stopping. These are this is a pad that I actually laid down. It's also by Expand. A lot of the instruments here are from Expand, even the bass guitar that I'm going to show you in um, a few minutes. I put the Air Max pad. I love using that type of pad. It's Air Action Pads Dream Plus. So yeah, this uh I basically just follow the chords that are playing in the melody of the guitar. Just make it simple, you know. Don't, you know, just don't make it way too complicated. Just make it really simple. So you just copy paste the chords. So you might not hear that well. Maybe you, maybe you are, maybe you're not. But uh, it sounds pretty low for me, but um, I don't want to make it too high because then I'll just be competing with the guitar. So in this case, I decided to use a 3D phaser. I decided to put like the default basically. I thought it was perfect. Give it a of delay, the just normal one because it has like a lot of echoes and all, and you know, obviously some delay. And I got the EQ. Like, trust me, when you're mixing the pads and all and trying to like not make it that high and all, it, it, it can be pretty low. And I decided to go to the knob here at the stereo separation and decided to put it here in 25%. So yeah, let's move into the drums. In this case, for drums, I decided to go first with the kick. I decided to put the hi-hats and if you see here in the hi-hats there's like the second hi-hat is lower than the first one just to give it a more realistic type of tone and we got the snares Now for the snares, I decided to add a little bit of effect. Put the FX here, the effector, the FX module. I decided to put a flanger and put it right here. And I decided to put the 3D reverb because I wanted to make it really ambient. I decided to use mess around with these knobs and mess around with this one. Just turn the web um, a little bit slightly higher. Let's get to the bass guitar. The bass guitar is basically me following the root notes from the melody, from like the guitar and the pad as well. It's really simple guys, you don't need to really put that much with the bass because they're not going to necessarily hear that much the bass. If you think about it when making like lo-fi beats, it's not really about the bass, it's really about chill, ambient vibe, you know. You don't have to really emphasize that much in the bass and oh, it needs to be perfect or whatever. So yeah, I'm um, going to the master channel, um, I put the 3D limiter, I turned everything up here and I put a soft clipper. Now the kick is going to be like just 
punching really hard. I wanted to punch pretty hard. I did that on purpose, actually. Mostly in lo-fi beats, you don't do this, but I decided for my beat just to do it in particular because I want it to be like a little bit different, a little bit more experimental. But uh, yeah, that's basically it for the whole breakdown of the beat. I'm going to play the whole beat for you, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Mm -hmm.